Okay, so here's another bit of progress that I can show you. Um, something I certainly like to do is to repurpose stuff when I can. Um, and what we've got here is an exhaust fan from the kitchen that uh, someone down the road was chucking out. So I'll grab that, strip the guts out of it. Uh, the table um, is an old table from an overlocker, which I've had sitting in the uh, garage for a while. Um, which is great because it allowed me to uh, lower the height of it really well and I've just said I'll screw, take the guts out of this, just made a couple of cuts that fit nicely onto the end here um, and screw it, she's on there nice and solid uh, so basically the way this is all going to be set up is I'm going to have my control panel along here there'll be a small joystick uh, for each of the air rams um, I'll put in here somewhere um, I've got a, I've ordered a, a digital temperature controller for the heat bands. Um, also in here I'm going to have to fit for each air ram you need an individual uh, air regulator for, to control the air pressure. Um, so basically the way the rest of it's going to go together there'll be a piece along here a, a, that will slide and hold the mould together will be along here and um, the rest of the apparatus on the machine will run on tracks backwards and forwards this way and then another set of tracks backwards and forwards this way to give me uh, an X and Y um, adjustability. Um, the clamping portion will probably also adjust a certain degree backwards and forwards and then the actual injection module will sit, you know, so so about here, like so, and we'll adjust up and down this way on the Z axis. So therefore giving me ultimate control backwards and forwards, side to side, um, which will allow different shapes and sizes of moulds. There we go. Alright, so what I'm working on now is to um, come up with a mounting position for our hopper. Um, so what I did, I, I took a bit of off-cut of this pipe here and just cut a section out, flared it slightly until it fit neatly over this this size pipe and I've just cut a section out so it fits over there. Uh, I'm thinking what I'll probably do now is I will make a couple of tabs to go on either side that are welded to this piece and then I will weld a couple of matching tabs to the actual pipe so that I can run some bolts through um, and then this piece can then be removed and obviously this is going to be um, the start of our hopper. Uh, once I've got this those tabs done and this bolted in place. I think what I'll also do is get the die grinder and just match port this, I guess, uh, to get an even, nice, smooth, even flow uh, of plastic beads from the hopper. So I'll, um, I'll bring you back when I'm ready to get all that done. So I've cut, just cut, you know, some simple little tabs out of a bit of scrap galvanised bracket. Um, Clamped a couple to the table here. I'm just going to tack this up with the MIG and then I'll uh, take it out, check it on the pipe, and make sure that it's going to uh, still fit over. We haven't warped it too much or anything like that. And then I'll uh, weld it up and then figure out the other tabs after that.
outside. Nothing flash. Just really a couple of strong tacks along either end. Um, I could be really anal and you know seam it on the inside, run a bead down the inside of both those tabs and grind it back and everything like that. But who could be asked doing that shit? All right. I'm still not entirely sure this is going to work yet, so we'll see how we go. All right. So what I've done now, I've just drilled two. Um, 4.2 millimeter holes in the tabs on this side and the tab on this side um, mounted in the vise now I've got the other tab that's going to be uh, welded to the injector module um, so what I'm going to do now is drill through into that tab again with the 4.2 mil drill bit um, I'm thinking then what I'll probably do is drill those holes out slightly larger I'll then tap the holes on this side uh, with the M5 tap and we'll run a couple of bolts through Bring you in the view, eh? I'm done. You're done, are you? I'm done. Okay, good. I'm done. Okay. Right, so that size tapped in there. We'll grab the larger drill bit. couple of bolts. Now I did add bolts, I just checked before I started doing this. See if I can find the bastards in there. Fit through there, yes they do. So we'll tighten those up. Needs a bit of a clean up, but we'll do that once it's welded on. A bit of a gap to fill. Alright, we'll do the next one.
right so basically those tabs have come out a little bit too uh, too far too far from the pipe I don't know if you can see that there in that picture um, certainly too far to weld but uh, Sort of thing yet to overcome it. <laughs> like that. Well, there's always a way. All right. That's going to work out good. Right, there we go. Pretty, but it'll work. I want to grind that down just to smooth it out. We should now be able to take these out, remove this plate. That'll be it for today.